Every time uh, you want your streamers, yeah, it, no, no offense, Siri. Even no offense, Siri. Uh, Aeon's not interested. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't either. Oh. Peter wouldn't be the. Hello. In fact, I end up like saying I'm gonna make out with somebody else. Last time it was. Uh, <laughs> who did I, say I was gonna make out with? Oh, Chuggle. I said I was gonna make out with Chuggle. But even what the fuck is I mean, going on with the Discord? Call? Somebody said I should make a podcast, but the podcast ends with us making out. Mm. That's how good this <laughs> has to end. Oh, God, Man, that's oh, the way for a zombie. Know. I just saw, but it's, um, morph, morph, okay, whatever that means. That's the, <sighs> that's, you literally just. You literally just put in the name of the main villain from the Shin Megami Tensei games, which is technically um, in the games that pronounced. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's, 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 what? It's, it's, it's... No, I love how the first thing you do when you when you see an actual historical thing is say, "I saw that in an anime." God. Yes, I have met Bill Newton many times. He's a Bill nice Newton's guy. Cool. Bill Newton's cool. He's a nice. Cool. He's very cool. He's also He's cool. on Twitch. So... Shit! Shit! I think. Oh boy! What? Yukiko from uh, Persona Four. Okay, yeah. That's oh, a good one. Nice. That's a good one. <laughs> That's fair. Nice. Yo, guys, uh, anybody here watched the the uh, PlayStation Five uh, announcement? I like, haven't, but yeah. I've seen all the fucking memes about it. Did uh, you mean the? Uh, you mean a new PS Five router? No, but did you see? Did you guys see um uh, the Chris Redfield literally John Wicking Ethan's wife in front of it? Oh shit! Why did I see that coming? It's gonna be bug oh, no. expensive. Uh oh. So apparently there's the floating guys. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't oh, see they that. All float. Float. They all float. They all float in here. Yeah. Also, Discord. Yeah, these guys what the are fuck? Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah, what happened? Okay. Yeah. Nothing happened. Uh, Plague and Adrian has been trying to answer, ask this question all night. Have we ever heard of Mario Party DS? I would guess so. <laughs> yes. I have. I used to own that game. I'm pretty sure all of us have. We've just kind of not asked. I haven't asked that question of the chat because literally it's the dumbest question. No offense. It's just there's not much to say. Yes, we've heard of Mario Party DS. Hey Solar, how uh, how useful is the magnet shroom? Um, it depends on what the composition is. If there's going to be like a lot of bucket zombies and shit like that, then really useful. If not, then it's not as great. What about ones with the cones? Does that matter? <laughs> the cones don't get affected by the magnet because they're not metal. The right. magnet, I believe, it gets rid of the bucket helmets. I think it gets rid of the pogo sticks too. So that I might hope be that works. works. This whole time, I wasn't aware there was a one of those uh, balloon uh, zombies that float above, and you have to use a cactus. Uh, you don't have to actually. You can use the blower, and it'll blow them away. Yeah, you can oh. blow them hard. Yeah, you can. You can just use the fan, and it'll just blow them out of the arena, and it counts as a kill. Let's go. Uh, oh, shit. Important question: What I is everyone's opinion on Kingdom Hearts as a TV show? I wasted don't my care. progress Hearts then. As a TV show. Kingdom Hearts. Is yeah, it, what is your opinion if King about Kingdom Hearts as a TV show? Uh, Don't care. I think it will probably be more interesting. It'll make emotional games. sense. Yeah. Yep, there's there's my meme. It makes emotional sense. Uh, we we 
I've just been spreading that fucking meme Practical. around. Practical. Here's Solar, you're here. doing the Lord's work. Thank you. Here's my uh, question. I, I introduced it to my fucking girlfriend because she was like, she was, I forgot what she was talking about. I'm, and I feel really bad about this because it was really fun. I feel, no, but I feel really trying, proud about making this meme now. But she was trying to explain something. He's like, it's, it doesn't make a bunch of logical sense, but it makes you feel something. And I was like, oh, I'm about to indoctrinate you into this phrase that we have begun. It makes emotional sense. Yeah. Here's my question for for the whole Kingdom Hearts like TV show. Where in the lore is it going to drop us in there? Is it going to drop us in there after everything has happened and nobody who has played all of the games and seen all the media, is anybody going to be able to understand it except for the people who have dedicated hundreds yeah. upon thousands of hours into this game? Probably I that, not. I think that if the show, if the animated series tries to, you know, appeal not just to that crowd but actually does try to make it accessible to people who have you know maybe never played a kingdom hearts game before then the i think that it, maybe, yeah. it'll have a better chance i think <clears throat> who the, what the hell is nording what yeah if you're just she's been norded she's been norded what the shut up morty shut up norty we gotta do this <laughs> Nord, like, some dude's just sitting there what the Rick hell and norty Rick and Nori. Okay. <laughs> Rick and Nori. God damn it. Uh, just just, 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 just shut up, Nori. <laughs> yeah. I know no, uh, no. Venomous Pie is asking a question. It's Mick and Nori. <laughs> Venomous Pie is asking a question? What's the, <laughs> yeah. what's the cue? Out of the um, game, announced with a PS5 I, reveal, which one are you the most excited for? Uh, Spider Man Miles Morales. Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are excited about that one. It's not going to be a full game. It's going to be they're, they're going to be porting it over, and it's going to be DLC for P Spider-Man PS4, which sucks. It's not going to be a full game, but it's still amazing. It looks so but, good. Let's be real. If it, could be, if it had to be DLC for anything, Spider-Man. I've heard really good things about Spider-Man PS4. Oh yeah, Spider-Man PS4. I is amazing. PS4 yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah. I'm getting uh, but, PS4 because of Spider-Man. I am most excited for Resident Evil 8. That is what I'm most excited for, because I love the first-person perspective, and I love that it's taking place in, like, a Resident Evil 4 type of setting, where it's, like, a village with a castle, and it's a cult. Yeah. That's all I need. That's all I need. Resident Evil 8. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise Resident Evil known village. as Resident Evil 4. 2. Resident Evil 4 2. <laughs> also so known as Chris Redfield <laughs> shot my wife. Resident Evil 4 2. Chris Redfield shot my wife. Yeah, yeah it's also dad funny because title. four times two equals eight, which is yes. what the game is actually called. Ha ha. We are mathematics. Yes. Ha -ha. Comedy. Hello, welcome yes. to the comedy hour. Yes, I have solar to use your fancy mathematics. No, no, sorry. I'm imagining Robin in the meme, in the meme of the butterfly Shit. meme, going like, "We're doing mathematics." The butterfly says mathematics, and then Robin's just like, "Is this a joke? <laughs> is this is a goof? This comedy? Is this a goof?" I is have this achieved funny? comedy. Oh. Um, this is something that, uh, I just Derek. Really found. Derek I asked found oh, a question. Sorry. What did Chris shoot in the Resident Evil 8 trailer? Another zombie? No, that was the wife of the main character from Resident Evil 7. He shot the main character of Resident Evil 7's wife, who, like, you spend the entire game trying to save. And his only words are, I'm oh. sorry, Ethan. <laughs> Oh! Yikes. Oh! Chris that got my shot attention. My Chris Redfield shot my wife. <laughs> I miss my wife, Tails. I miss her a lot. I'll be back. I, lo I loved that. I loved Biohazard. <laughs> that one was really great. I loved I, Biohazard a lot. My question is, where is Leon? Because they're showing us a bunch of Chris, but not a lot of Leon. I miss Leon. Where are Leon? Leon's off. You know that meme you know, where it's like, it's 4 p.m. dear, it's time for your dick flat. I mean, that's what's happening with Leon and uh, Leon and Ada. Oh, let's fucking go! Let's go! Oh. I love that meme. It's so, so are, are you sure that the uh, blover will take care of the balloon guys? Yes. Okay. It will blow them away. Okay, what happens if I place the blover... In a position where the balloon uh, zombies are past it, will that take any effect? I'm pretty sure it'll just do the same thing that the uh, what is it? The fucking. Okay. It'll just. I'm pretty sure it'll just blow across the whole map. All if right. not, okay, that means Chris is gonna turn villain for that. Yeah, Derek, I think that it's gonna be a whole thing where she still had like the virus that was like implanted in her in Resident Evil <laughs> Seven, and like Blue Umbrella couldn't. All right, all right, my friend, I believe I see the error with your strategy here. 
Get yourself some of the fucking long range shrooms. All right. Very much so, yes. Uh, we need more Toms in Resident Evil. You know who we need to make a comeback? Barry Burton. Yeah. Barry Burton. <laughs> okay, oh, but like. Which, which, which Resident Evil? No, I forgot. Uh, Barry Burton was in the very first one. He was the guy with like the the puffy jacket and the Magnum revolver, and he was literally the coolest character yeah. ever. Okay. Where's my I daughter? Just, I didn't remember. I I didn't remember. That's why I had to ask. Where's my daughter? Yeah. He's the guy who uttered the famous phrase, "You almost became a Jill sandwich." You almost, you almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yes, That's please. the That's master funny. of unlock. Yeah, you know what I'm realizing? Robin and Vlad have suspiciously similar voices. No, I can't. Solar, did you, Solar, did you say Hume Shroom? Uh, no, the fucking, the other one. No, no, this is an important, this is an important distinction, though, because if I want to curse one of you, I'm not going to do it with Vlad, because that's a magic war. Robin, on the other hand, is vulnerable. They're the same people. Hey, guys, hold on Guys, you never see them in the same room. Uh, Solar, uh, what Shroom are you recommending? The, the fucking skinny one. Okay, that's so the scaredy shroom? Yeah, that one. Because that's yeah. long range and it's only like 25. Yeah. Okay. Throw the those down shroom. on your back lines, like right, right before your gun shrooms. All right. Okay, but like, on the subject of the PlayStation 5, I just gotta say, that controller is so ugly. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sony has always been ass at controllers. No, but the PS4, it feels so good. The controller the, feels No, the PS4 good. controller is terrible. What are you talking about? You can't even set it down without watching a video without it fucking skipping all the time. I Sony, like the... Dreamcast had good triggers. The Xbox <laughs> can do good triggers. Nintendo can do good triggers. There is no excuse for this ass. <laughs> for this I'm ass saying... fuckery. I'm saying... saying... Poor controller... From the limited time I've gotten to use it, it feels very comfortable in the hand. Because they made it slightly bigger, but it's... If you ask me, the best controller of recent, it's still the Xbox 360 controller. Oh yeah, I agree with yes. you on that one. Oh yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, ergonomically designed. But seriously, Sony, it should not be this hard to make a trigger that doesn't... Yes. <laughs> it's like, what is this degeneracy? It's like whenever... What is this degeneracy? Oh my... <laughs> It's like whenever Sony reveals a new controller, it's just like everybody's yeah. company is just like, are you fuck? Yeah. No, no. What I love is that Sony tries to reinvent the wheel with a new new controller, and within like a year they have to bitch out and go back to the DualShock. Like remember yeah, when dude. Six Axis was supposed to be the biggest thing? They just gaming? get scared. And they're like, but 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 DualShock though. No, no, they don't get scared, they fuck it up. Like, remember in 6-axis, there were two things I remember it being used for. One was uh, that Dragon Slayer game, where you got to fly yeah. a dragon. Uh, it couldn't Ooh, control right. the dragon for shit, even if it did work. And uh, Uncharted 1, you had to use it to throw grenades. You had to yep, tilt it I in remember. such a way. I remember. And it did not fucking work. Tilting awesome. your controller to play Heavy Rain with the boomerang control. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I gotta say, though, Give me a I think the that the actual you. external design of the PlayStation 4, the look of it, it looks really stupid. Retro Gamer, yes, Kevin, thank you for following. Hey, Retro Gamer! The, PS, the PS5 looks like Seto Kaiba's jacket. <laughs> I love that meme. That, that's my favorite of the PS5. People or it looks like the around. helmet to a Daft Punk character. Yeah. <laughs> and it could also be the helmet for a Destiny character. With the or Series Destiny. X, like, just being a giant box. But I think that the giant box, like, it looks like it fits more in an entertainment setup than the, the X5. The the Xbox the Xbox Series X, you mean the desktop? The, the yeah. desktop? It's just a desktop at this point. It's the desktop. Know, it's a computer. At least, like, if I put that next to the TV, that would look like it belongs next to it. The, the PlayStation 5 is just such a weird-looking system. Somebody's exactly. gonna walk in the door and they're gonna be like, "Hey, is that a new modem you got there?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it really does look like a modem. Yeah, I mean the Xbox just have... looks better because it looks like it, it looks like the black monolith from 2001: Space Odyssey. It's like it's yes. simple but imposing, whereas yeah, the PS5 the... is like we play uh, with the fridge and we play with the where... router today. <laughs> where, the PS5 look, where the PS5 looks like a vagina. It does. Oh it does. Oh my god. That would be a great right meme for like a gaming channel. Just sit, walks in, camera on, person who owns channel. Just, we playing with the fridge or the router today. <laughs> <laughs> Which licks my PS5. Yeah, like, 
I just don't think it looks that good. Like, aesthetically, I don't like it that much. I mean, that's looks like you haven't seen a real vagina yet, then you will appreciate its beauty. <laughs> listen, 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 guys, Dora. if I can't slap Dora, it, when you get when you get the opportunity, you will learn to appreciate it. L listen, if guys, you get if it. I can't slap if you get it. Titan, in my Xbox Series X, I'm going to be hella mad. <laughs> oh, One of these days, you will leave this Chad a virgin and you will come back into Chad. But if I can't say, my friend. If I can't slap an RTX 380 or thir like three uh 3080 into my fucking uh I'm gonna be so mad. I mean that would just be really be... cool if you could put a new graphics card in it. Look at yeah. this. I mean they're probably gonna have to because of the rate that technology is going. The the game console like I I'm not gonna go into PC Masteries, but it's like um it, but it's also like technology is advancing at such a way that you pretty much that the model of the gaming console becomes less like practical for in on, from an engineering sense like each year for each generation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, in the future, we'll probably we're, we probably aren't going to have gaming consoles. We're probably going to have this is the PlayStation Stream Store for your PC, or this is the Xbox Store for your PC, and yeah. maybe you pay. It's probably going to be something more like that. It's probably just going to be like a, like kind of like Steam, like a Steam client, but it's like a console client. Oh, son of a bitch! Like I like the idea of consoles uh, just because I am I'm very bad about like using my computer for things that don't need to be used for a computer. I like having my dedicated game box. This is the all it's doing. It's just here to play a video game. But like, yeah, I can definitely see like consoles not being that necessary in the very near future. Or it's just not tenable because they have they, they can't just throw a bunch of parts together and say bam we got your console. It takes like untold hundreds of thousands. I don't know how much it t it costs or takes, but it it costs a lot of money to develop one, and it's usually with the expectation that they'll make a return on that within what the ten year lifespan that it has. Some yep. whereas yeah whereas nowadays it's like okay it's it's about as good as like relatively what a good gaming PC is, and then it just kind of de degenerates from that. Yeah. And the new Xbox has the best specs right now, right? Does it have like better ones than the PS5? I think so. From what we're looking at, yeah, it does have better specs. But here's the thing: yeah. we don't have a. I don't. Do we have a price point for the Xbox Series X? God, Neither of them have price so. points. Neither of them have a price point, which is worrying. They're yeah, both scared. Fair. And the price of the PS5 is five hundred ninety-nine US dollars. It's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna oh, yeah. be expensive and like. It's just prohibitively expensive, I think. And like, oh look, six hundred dollars! I could just spend that on a new graphics card for my computer. Yeah, I could look at upgrading my computer even further, or I could get a PS Five. And while I definitely like a lot of games coming to PlayStation, it's like, eh, you know, I'm fine for right now. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna get my friends use PS Four, play games on that, and then maybe eventually. I'll get a PlayStation 5. At any point in time, I can literally just go, do I want to get this console? And then I see how much it is, and I'm like, mm, I'll just wait Son for my friend who has, like, $2,000 to just, like, to do with whatever he wishes uh, at any given point in time. I don't know where the guy gets the money, but he just <clears throat> always has at least $2,000 to spend and burn at his own leisure. Yeah. The last, the last console I have is actually a 360. Who fucking... Who is just absurdly lucky when it comes to making money. Because he he does... Basically, he just fucking takes a bunch of old shit, fixes it up, and then sells it back to people. He does this with computers, too. Yeah, his name is Rustic. Oh, God, dude. Oh, yeah, Rustic. Don't fucking no, no, no. get me started on the goddamn stories Rustic has told us about how he's just like, You know, I just fucking woke up today, and I fucking sold a lawnmower for, like, $7,000 and some shit <laughs> like that. <laughs> I just want to point out, no, no, I just want to point out, me and him were thinking about doing uh, the Lemons Rally, and uh, we our plan was we were going to buy, because for those of you who don't know what Lemons is, you essentially, it's a race, but you're racing in a piece of shit car. Um, or it has to be like an old car underneath a certain value. Uh, and it's just meant mostly for fun. Like, they do keep score in case you want to win, but there's, there is a bracket or a classification for people who are totally not expected to win. Um, funny, fun thing about them. Um, we, we decided that we are going to buy a hearse. We're going to call it Last Call. We will have a skeleton sticking out of the sunroof, because this one had a sunroof. And we're going to turn the casket into a beer cooler. Fuck, nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's it's fucking. And we're gonna weird. call it Last Call. Which is unironically one of the greatest fucking names for a rally car, no. even if it is a joke rally car. No, like the best thing about it is the person who owned it made it into essentially a joke race car. They put bucket seats, a Chevy three fifty, uh, and they painted it red, like barnyard sure. red. And it said includes Dirt casket. Money. Includes casket. Dear 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 casket that just anyone our hopes of winning. <laughs> Does anyone remember the old meme where you gotta attack the crab's weak point for massive damage? So here's based on Japanese history. Crab. No, no, no. This is a game based on Japanese history. Japanese so history. here's this giant enemy <laughs> crab that you gotta hit for massive this damage. Is your mother. Rich Racer. And I'm gonna Rich use Benke here to flip this crab on, on its garden. back it's and attack its weak point for massive, for massive damage. damage. I I just free, found free, free, the greatest free, 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 free. thing. It's... Oh look, we get to meet meet Meatloaf. Yeah. Sincerely, Mom, not the zombies. Yeah. Hmm. This yeah. is your mother. 